See, we have residents where on. <laughs> when we say we don't know where it go, <laughs> when you see Wala we pass out, you run. Leave the full country. Been begging him to hand over for 24 years in Hungary. Long story short, he has run away. Now the run away not even they pay me. All the luxury cars when he buy. All the luxury things so they ask you leave everything. Now the people of Syria don't enter a house, they loot plates, loot TV, loot aces. But bro, if you see the cars, when this man leave behind, as I'm talking to you now, it is reported that he's in Moscow, Russia, and that is worth two billion dollars. While the people of Syria have been living in poverty, serious poverty. Let me show you this. This extravagant car collection belonged to the now deposed Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Wow. A Bentley, a Rolls Royce and three Ferraris were among the 40 luxury vehicles stored in a warehouse in western Damascus. Assad is now, of course, in Moscow after he fled from rebel forces. Inside the presidential palace, more signs of luxury. Pals of food in a country where 90% of the population live below the poverty line, according to the United Nations. The woman behind the camera reads from what appears to be a draft menu for the former first lady. As rebels took control of the capital, overjoyed Syrians grabbed what Assad's family left behind as they fled. The Assads are estimated to be worth one to two billion dollars, according to the U.S. State Department. Yeah. The images now emerging from their properties are proving to those Syrians what they already knew to be true, that while Assad bombed and brutalized his country, he enjoyed vast wealth. So wait. As I'm, uh, Israel, they fight Syria. They throw Bongo Syria. Assad too. The president of Syria aims to they fight the people for the country. They bomb places for the country. Is that not a cause? Now you don't want to go to Moscow. Now everything will safe for there. You see, Nigerian politicians should be learning. They should be learning. Because one day, if you reach home, you are looting the people trying now. You are buying houses. You are burying the money. We have had issues of government appointees and politicians where they build mothers who is stock money inside. Buy houses for a coin stock cash inside. And Nigerians are suffering. Problem they come with you will run for those money. As soon as we will not live for better country, so one day one better problem they come. One day we need to not be asked or take off so. Did he ever believe his family has been in power for 54 years? Did he ever believe a day like this will come? Every day for the thief, one day for the owner. And that the way the turn of the owner, the thief won't all finish. He's running up and down a former president. So if you get a problem for Russia, too, what would they do? You ain't one wrong go, home don't pursue you. If outside pursue you, you call. More than continue, all of them are calling and say politicians and thieves. Power is transient, it will not remain with you forever.